During this video, you don't have to listen to me. This is the Moray box. I've got it in the back of my truck. And now we're going to take a look at a video used with permission. With the helper, carefully remove the moray from its box and place it onto a flat surface. Remove the protective foam. Carefully turn the moray over and apply the rubber feet. Open the cover and remove the protection from the X and Y axes. Remove the protective plastic from the lid. Remove the protective foam from the optional floor. Open the accessories box and take an inventory of the parts. You should have one vent hose connector with mounting hardware, one removable zeroing rod, one power supply, a license card, rubber feet, and an instruction manual. Attach the vent hood using the included hardware. Push in the red power switch to deactivate the machine before connecting the power supply. Then you may safely connect the power supply. Turn on the moray by twisting the power switch clockwise. Have your license card ready for registration. The first time you power on the moray, you'll see a welcome screen. Select Next. The next screen shows a QR code that you can use with your smartphone to register your moray. Or you can register via the web at portal.nextwaveautomation.com. Once registered, you'll receive an unlock code. Select Next, enter the unlock code, and select Register. Insert the zeroing rod through the hole in the laser head. The zeroing rod is used to precisely set the laser height and the X and Y coordinates. Adjust the height of the laser head so that the zeroing rod contacts the workpiece. Use the touch screen to zero the X and Y coordinates. Then remove the zeroing rod. You can now start using your moray.